So I've come to Red River Gorge. Uh, there's going to be a YouTuber meetup this weekend, and uh, I decided to come up a day early because just wanted to get some extra trail time because I got some gear I want to test out, and uh, just got done driving three and a half hours to get here. Uh, left a little late, and so now. I'm doubling down to try and get to a campsite before dark. I'm on Oxha Ridge. I don't even know where I'm going to camp. <laughs> I'm just, I just drove here. Well, it wasn't the view I was hoping for, but I'm running out of time. And, uh, well, I'm running out of daylight anyways. Got a good flat spot to set my tent. There's already some processed firewood, so, and I'm getting hungry, I ain't ate anything, so I'm gonna set up my tent and probably call this place home for tonight. It's pretty, pretty secluded, I like it. Um, just listen. Yeah. Man, epic fail. I did not pack my tent stakes. Man. Man, oh man, oh man. Back to the, I got a trekking pole tent. There's no way I can set it up without it. Back to the car so I decided to go to Miguel's pizza get me some pizza and then I drove back out here to the trailhead uh, to Gray's Arch and so I'm just gonna sleep here until in the morning and wake up and hike from Gray's Arch to Hanson's Point where my buddy, Jason, from Backpacking with Jason, uh, is going to be so kind to bring me some tent stakes. So thank you, Jason, for saving the day on that one. Epic fail on my part. Um, man, uh, can't believe that i done that. But when I put my tent up, I didn't put my tent stakes back in my tent bag. So I just grabbed my tent bag, just assuming that my tent stakes was in it, and... There you go. Made it all the way here. And I checked and double checked. But you know what? Lesson learned. Uh, I improvised. Didn't panic. Just uh, knew I had time to get back to the car. I knew I was meeting up with some buddies. And so I just uh, sent out a message. Hey, can you do me a huge favor? Can you bring me some tent steak? Because I am a dummy and I forgot mine. And without hesitation, Jason said he would bring some. So, again, thank you, Jason. And so, uh, three and a half hour drive isn't wasted. Uh, it wasn't gonna be anyways. I'd have drove. I'd have drove to Walmart and got some cheap tent steaks. I I, I would have done something. Uh, only thing is, is tonight I got to sleep in my car instead of 
and a nice camp spot. So, anyway, I'm gonna go to sleep, wake up, and it's gonna be an amazing weekend. So, I've had a horrible night's sleep. I wouldn't say horrible, but oh, I don't I didn't go to sleep. I fall asleep to them. Oh, that'd be way early in the morning. And it's still only uh, 8.04. And all my gear strode all over the back seat. Um, and I parked here at the trailhead because it's well, I thought I'd just get up, I'm gonna pack together and get on a trail, but as you can see, it's raining. And I'm not super excited <laughs> to jump out here and get wet first thing. So I might slide out of here and go get me some breakfast and get me some coffee at Daniel Boone's coffee shop. And maybe see if some of this rain will die down a little bit. decided to come down to Martin's Fork uh, that trailhead I'm gonna take the rough trail up to Gray's Arch and then the rough trail from Gray's Arch to Hanson's Point uh, I decided to do that because I want to get a few extra miles in um, and also uh, I don't know when Jason or anybody else is gonna you know end up at the camp at Hanson's Point so I don't want to I don't want to get there too early and I'll be the only one there and then on top of that I don't have no tent stakes to set my tent up so um, decided just to stretch my hike out a little bit further so I can be out on trail a little bit longer today right now it's probably around 10 o'clock in the morning so hopefully and I what sucks is it's raining so if it wasn't raining I could take a little more time with my camera shooting some footage but right now I'm, it looks like I'm just gonna have to put my camera in my bag and just kinda hope it lets up I was really wanting to get some shots on the trail but uh, that's just how it goes maybe on my way on the way out because it's supposed to stop raining tonight it's supposed to be pretty tomorrow so maybe I can get some more footage tomorrow but Anyways, excited. Uh, got some gear I'm testing out. Of course, the Outdoor Vitals CS40 backpack. And then I'm testing out the Core Bed by Zen Bivy. And uh, so, just want to get those two pieces of gear on the trail. And uh, excited about that. So far, I love that CS40 backpack. That thing rides amazing. It sits on your back. It moves and flexes with you, man. It's just, so far, I love it. It's incredible. So, I'm on, I still got my gear strolled across my back seat from where I slept in the car last night. So, uh, I started to get it together, but it got to raining a little bit. So, I kind of just came back in here and figured I'd shoot a little bit. Anyways, hopefully the next time you see me, we are out on trail and then at camp and then uh, on the trail home anyways I love this this is what gets me going this right here this right here is what gets me going being out in the wilderness right at the trailhead you know getting ready to get on the trail it's amazing love it
I'm getting ready to start my biggest climb of this hike and uh, pretty good little push to get to where I'm at right now but it's fixing to get nastier this morning I don't know it was weird uh, just went up one pretty good little push and I don't know it's like almost like the choke was stuck on my carburetor I just couldn't get going it's like my heart my blood was wanting more oxygen than my lungs was was pumping to it I think humidity had a little bit to do with it but uh, I feel a little better now and uh, maybe so hopefully this climb won't be that bad uh, so yep a couple down trees so I took my pack off took advantage of a moment to drink some water and get ready for this climb So Jason, who's your favorite backpacking YouTube channel? Well, right now it's Rooted Vagabond. Hey, look, I have made it. I am my favorite YouTuber's YouTuber. <laughs> Absolutely, man. <laughs> so, how many people does it take to supervise the log cutting? <laughs> Apparently that number is four. <laughs> you got it, Mike, bring it home. Hey. Use leverage, man. Yeah, that's Use your you weight and have a seat at the same time. So, Jeremiah. What's up? I had an epiphany this morning. Let's hear it. While I was uh, doing my morning constitutional. <laughs> and I realized if I had a backpack and bidet. Yeah. Yeah. I would save weight. That and not, no hand sanitizer. Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> Links in the description. Man, had an incredible weekend with some awesome friends, some new friends that I met, some friends that I've had for a while, uh, some guys that's got some channels, guys and gals that's got channels that I love to watch their hiking videos and gear reviews and all that good stuff and so just an amazing experience and time and uh, even got a little solitude on the trail and then also did some group hiking and so Man, climbed Indian Staircase for the first time. That was fun. Got to, uh, you know, try out some new gear and test it out on the trail. So, uh, yeah, uh, pretty good weekend. And could you do me a could you do me a good favor right now? Just hit that subscribe button. It'll help me out a whole lot. Uh, I really appreciate it and thank you. Thank you for all the people that take the time to watch my videos. Uh, it's just humbling it always is humbling and so anyways um, heading back on the last two miles on the trail in a pretty secluded little section I'm kind of excited about so I'm uh, probably about to put the camera up and just uh, kind of immerse myself in the whole uh, experience of being out in nature uh, it's turned out to be an amazing trip, even though it kind of started out a little with a hiccup, but hey, that happens, and uh, man, I just love being out here in nature. Just love it. Anyways, love you guys. <laughs>